Senator Claire McCaskill's bold comparison of Donald Trump to infamous dictators like Adolf Hitler and Benito Mussolini on MSNBC is a striking statement. She argues that Trump poses a greater danger because of his erratic political stances and self-centered motives. A lot of people have tried to draw similarities between Mussolini and Hitler and the use of the terminology like vermin and the, the, the drive that those men had towards autocracy and, and dictatorship. The difference, though, I think makes Donald Trump even more dangerous, and that is he has no philosophy he believes in. He is not trying to expand the boundaries of the United States of America. He's not trying to overcome a neighboring country like Putin is in Ukraine. He is not going for some grand scheme of international dominance. All he wants is to look in the mirror and see a guy who's president. All he cares about is selfish self-promotion. That's the only philosophy he has, which makes him even more dangerous because he has actually said out loud that it would be okay to terminate the Constitution to keep him in power. He said this. He actually said those words. And the irony is all of these supposed conservative folks that have populated the Republican Party all stood around and with their with their thumb in their mouth going, well, yeah, OK, I guess so. It's, it's bizarre. This criticism highlights a tactic often used to stoke fear and shift attention away from meaningful policy discussions. McCaskill's comparison can be seen as a dramatic exaggeration meant to elicit strong emotions rather than foster rational debate. It's crucial to value the Constitution and uphold its principles. McCaskill's alarming assertion that Trump would dismantle the Constitution is a serious claim, yet many people demand substantial proof before believing such statements. They prioritize safeguarding the Constitution and due process, often viewing claims with skepticism, suspecting that mainstream media and political elites might manipulate narratives for their agendas. McCaskill's comments can be viewed as part of this manipulation aiming to discredit Trump without tackling underlying institutional issues or offering a fair perspective. The public's focus on personal responsibility and independence contrasts with McCaskill's portrayal of Trump as wholly self-serving. While people do value self-interest, they also seek a balance between personal ambitions, civic duties, and moral responsibilities.